Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2! So I forested up that whole area over there. Those trees will eventually grow someday. If they're even trees, like I think these are trees, but I don't want to break one to find I don't want to have to break one to find out. Otherwise, it's not looking too bad. Not looking too horrible. I don't know how much I like this big guy right here. That's fine. They still got this chest over here with so much crap. Actually, no, they use most of that for the other thing. Never mind. And I'll break that for the eventual future needs of breaking. So with everything done, we've got uh, Wrigley to talk to because he's got some kind of quest or something for us. Or maybe just finishing a quest, I don't know. Let's go wake him up, see what he wants. It's bright out, Wrigley. Get to work. Still needs a lot more green. A lot more, like, just regular grass everywhere. I would really like to come back and just kind of get the little bits and pieces that I missed. That's okay, we just have to make a whole new Dia tree. I've, I've, I've even got a heartwood. Alright, so they're over there working on finishing up that river, and by that I mean they actually finished, I think. While I was dealing with all that. Or maybe they just stopped part way. You never know. They're tired. They're hungry. They're all hungry. Hey, man, look at all this stuff going on over here. Well, before we get to that, let's go forward and go find a chicken. Man, look at this. This is no dock. This is nasty is what it is. I'd really love to clean this up. But we can't break this stone. So that'll have to wait. But eventually, eventually, we're going to have a real nice stock. New islands? You mean islands that have never been there before? Newly created islands? How does new islands work? Dang. I like how I've just got these hearts, just holding on to them. What do I do with all these hearts? I don't know what this guy's gonna do with these hearts. Alright, so the Explorer's Shores are actually super cool. Um, we've got two here we can unlock. Ooh, that one's 300. We don't quite have that. Oh, we got 50 to unlock this one, though. And if we wanted, we could go back to Furrowfield. Like I was saying before, we're not done. We can go back. Anytime, just head right on back, clear it out. It's never too late. But we want to go over here to the Soggy Scary. A mere 50 hearts, which I happen to have. And now that we paid him, he'll take us here. Um, so another couple things. I think I mentioned this before, but the game does save whenever you transfer between islands, and that does I include the Explorer's Shores. So make sure all your ducks are in a row, because it, it will overwrite your save. The nice thing, though, is the Explorer's Shores, you don't have to empty your inventory. You can bring your sack with you and all your goodies. In fact, if you wanted to go back to Furrowfield at this point, you could also take all your goodies back there. It's usually just your first travel to a new island 
that he doesn't let you take all your crap. Other fun thing to point out, I've been seeing these because I see them every time I load a save game, which I save and load between recordings, but this is, whenever there's a lengthy loading screen, which is typically when you're traveling between islands or loading a save game, they put up all these, which are like builds that other people have done. You can press the plus button to keep seeing more of them. And you get to see, like, uh, who built it, what they titled it. I don't know what the point value is or whatever. You got some tags and things with them, too. I think that notifications thing up top is a current running contest. Because these are certainly not bridges. And you can just get plus forever, and it goes on forever. Um, I think what's kind of sad is there's a couple of them that look to be furrowfield-centric. That I've seen pretty much every single time that I load this that I load the save or go through these. But if you just keep pressing and cycle through, you eventually start seeing some new ones with some real interesting crap in there. I think they're just a random number generator is a little off. Now the explorer shores are super cool. So as Brownbeard is explaining to us, he came together, he put together a list of all kinds of neat things that he saw on this island. So we have to go to the island and find each one of these little things and check them off a list. And once we find it, all of them, we are given a reward. And that reward is an infinite supply of a certain item. And I do mean infinite supply. So, for example, uh, let's see here. Over here, we're looking for... not this. It's hard to tell what that is. Grass. Oh, no, here we are. I can check this grass. Monster. So we gotta go run around and find all kinds of cool stuff. Can we check off trees? We sure can. And you see the little active lists there on the side, so we can keep checking them off as we go. And when we complete and check off every item that we've seen in that top list, we have an infinite supply of wood. We just have an infinite supply of wood. So it's kind of nice when you start, because you can just kind of check everything. And then near the end, you start uh, having to narrow it down a little bit more. No, I want to check this. Get out of the way, dude. There was something I could check over here. Oh my goodness! Yeah, hit me, you shut your hole. I'm busy. There we go, I can check that one off. And like, man, I was so excited when I first figured out what this was. Because I came here and it was just, you mean there's an island where the sole purpose of being on this island is to explore and find things. Man, I can get behind that. Also, you'll find large bosses on these islands, such as this big guy over here. And if you beat them up, you get a prize. Oh, that's what it was. It was hungry. Yeah, that's right, because they did that in Builders 1. Oh, you get acorns for beating them! I knew there was a consistent way to get acorns somewhere. Alright, so let's go beat this guy up, see what he does. See what we get. Now, you should be able to beat all of these guys as soon as you first see them. Like, as soon as you have access to the Explorer's Shores, you should be fine.
Man, as long as Malaroth keeps tanking. Nope! Okay, only four damage isn't bad. This guy is... These guys are r a little rough because they're so big that their attack range is crazy. And they turn as you turn, so you can't just, like, circle strafe them. I mean, I can try, but it usually doesn't work. That doesn't do much damage, though. I'm about to just hammer him. Just whack at him. This turtle shell is doing a pretty good job. Ah, oh, no, nah, that kind of hurt. I mean, if I can just jump, jump down off of this, though. Hey! Yeah, aim at Malaroth. Malaroth has more HP than me. Send me flying, jerk. Okay, that one was kind of aiming at me, but it was awkward. How about if I just, like, keep trying to stay behind you? Can you, like, not turn super well? Yeah, you kind of can't, actually. As long as you're in- as long as you're moving early, he can't, like, just turn on a dime. Oh, that works out well. You know, until I do that. And we did it. Alright. Oh, he didn't even give a crazy big pro- And wait, no, we got a recipe! Why didn't we learn how to make? Ooh, a leather shield. Nice. Better than this stupid little pot lid I have. Alright, back to exploring. What else we got out here? Animal magnetism. Oh, remember what we had to do with uh, pepperoni? We had to sneak up on it and pet it from behind. That's also how you hand. That guy's beating up that poor chicken. Hey, leave that poor chicken alone. Like the random crit on the guy in back. So it's funny because enemies will attack chickens or other passive enemies. It's a little rough. But if you can sneak up on them, which is hard for me. And then they become your friend. And they'll come back to the island with you. And now we have a chicken. Um, you have to actually befriend the animal in order to cross them off your list. What do we have over here? Stump? Uh, plumberry tree? Don't think I've got a plumberry tree. Plumberries? Nah, that doesn't count. Another chicken, if you wanted more than one chicken. I'm not gonna worry too much about having a billion chickens right now. Let's just finish running around checking crap off our list. So another real nice thing. Leave that chicken alone. So another real nice thing about these is not only does coming here replant or not only does coming here um and completing the challenge get you some free get you an infinite supply of certain things, but these islands are randomly generated each and every time you come here. Which means as long as you're willing to hoof it out to one of these islands, it's an infinite supply of supplies. Anything at all that you need, you can come here and lay waste to this land. Just completely destroy these islands. Collect all of these blocks, take them back with you. And then when you come back the next time, it'll just be re-randomized as a whole different island. 
Which, on one hand, I really enjoyed being able to run around and explore. I thought I lost Malrod for a second. Um, and explore all of these islands. Make sure I got every little nook and cranny of them mapped out. But once I realized that even the map resets... When I come back, eh, I was a little less inclined to have to do it. Something like a marsh. With hot dog plants. Rocks. I've already got the rocks. And brambles. Two different kinds of brambles. Have I got the mossy rocks? Ah, uh, looks like I have. Alright, well, that actually looks like that's about it for the marsh. I can't climb that? What the crap? The vine? I can climb that. There we go. And archers, the jerks! Really? Can't get vines? I really feel like you should be able to get vines. Oh well. Plants! Pumpkins. Really? I don't know what you are, but I'm pretty sure I haven't found you yet. Whatever, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to argue with you. So I see acorns on the list. Which means I probably have to climb all the way up here to get to an acorn. It should be relatively easy. Just, there we go. I also need leaves. Oh, and branches. Get that branch. And with that, we're actually nearly done. Not a lot, not a ton left. There's the monster pit. So when I say you have an infinite supply of that, it's specifically for crafting purposes. You can't just go grab an infinite, an, inf an infinite number of those blocks or materials or whatever. But if you ever need to craft, whenever it lists how many of those you have, it just says infinite, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. So the only thing left for me to find is whatever that yellow tree looking thing is. It's none of these trees. Bet you it's one of those tall ones off in the distance. Bam! Infinite wood and infinite dry grass. And these are things that'll continue for the rest of the game. We never have to worry about those ever again. So I ran around the whole island. Usually these are square shaped, but that just leaves a whole big old area up here. So I'm a little surprised at that. There's also another present waiting for us somewhere out here. So give me just a minute while I try to find it. Hey, not what I'm looking for, but I'll take it. What do you got for me, big guy? Ow, jeez. Got some range on him.
Look, Malroth, you handle the boss, I'll handle the ads. All these friggin' idiots. Come back here and let me stab you. They can kinda circle scraping. What? Stab you in the butt! Yeah, we got you cornered now, what? Okay, what kind of prize do you give? You gotta give me something good. You gotta give me something good. I can also smack you while Malaroth is getting smacked by you. That's the pros of teamwork! So I only know what some of the prizes these guys drop are, and some of these early guys, I have no idea what they give, because I didn't bother killing these guys my first run through. So some of these guys, this is gonna be a genuine surprise. I don't know what we're gonna get. Hopefully it's good. Yeah, that hurt not as bad as I thought, but more than I would have liked to. That's fine. Okay, so I get that I crit you every now and then, but could I get like the insta kill on you and just like you die suddenly? He wouldn't let me do that to the ball. Wow, coming after me? Ow, 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 ow. Wow. Okay. You're a jerk, is what you are. Figured I was in a. I actually it looked like you were going after Malaroth, so I didn't even bother. Yeah! Oh man, look at that crap! Look at that crap! Bam! I carry that with me, gonna decorate my house. Hey, I found it. So you can make little things um, in a designated square. Think of the squares at the end of Builders 1 in the free build mode, Terra Incognita, and how you could share the, whatever you built on those squares with other players. You could do something similar in this game, and you find it on these, like, rogue islands out there in the wild. Every time you come back to this island, not only does it regenerate the island, re-randomize the island, but it also brings in a brand new one of these, which is just something neat that somebody built. So what's this one? It's like a little food truck. Look at that. It's a vehicle, but they got crap sitting outside. I'm gonna go up. Oh, I want to go up. Go inside. Now, they do kind of make sure that you can't break the game with these. So, like, all the chests and everything are always empty. Can you, like, take anything? Oh, I guess you can take stuff. It's a little weird. But it's just this neat little area like this. So not only does finding this make it, if you check the map, make it a warp point, so you can come back here whenever, but there's also an NPC somewhere out here. And I saw him in here just a second ago. Now he's over there, okay. And if you talk to these guys, they're just like random guys going, man, I don't know what to do with my life. Can you seem kind of cool, though, and have things going for you. Can I stay with you? Sure. And that's another hand you've got to help you out on the island. And another mouth to feed.
So I think when we start running around, he starts following us around. Yep, there we go. And so when we warp back, we got this. So I'm going to go ahead and keep checking out the rest of this island real quick. A little bit down here. Not too much left. And then I'll maybe see if I missed something up here. Um, but otherwise, I think we're pretty well suited to head back. Totally is more island out there. Okay, so reminder, do not go over top of the dark blue water. You can go over it for a short time, but don't spend longer than you have to. And you don't have as, even as much time as you think you might have. But, like, I can cross over it there fine, but if you had to go over a much larger stretch, it can start to be problems. Now, the big reason that I wanted to... I'm even exploring anymore at this point, since uh, once I've checked off both things and I've found the little villager that can come live with us. Yeah, it doesn't look like that. Looks like that's about it. Uh, there's not a lot left to get out here. I'm mostly looking for the large boss enemies, since they give good prizes. And if I can find one, then I'll beat them up. And I'll take his good prize. All right, well, not the most thorough look that I could have looked, but that wasn't too bad. Seems like about everything there, so we can go ahead and head on back. Take our prizes with us. I should have grabbed a second chicken. Oh, well, too late now. And again, when we return again... Um, it's going to be a brand new island, and none of it's going to be mapped out, so we're going to be setting foot on a blank slate again. But thankfully, if we do that again, we don't have to do the little checklist thing again. We can just kind of... Go grab exactly what it is that we need. And look at that holiday ship. Everybody eating. Big old feast. Since you can move the camera around for the camera shots... Sometimes I... Oh. Uh, sometimes it's hard to pick out, like, which one is the builder? <sighs> and we're not going to eat the chicken at all. Only its eggs. Hey, that sounds spiffy. I'm sorry. I I can't get over that. I'm as certain as pirates hate body parts that come in pairs. Nah, you're gonna go there. It's gonna be boring as crap. Oh, we can hear his stomach growling from here. <laughs> Just, hey! So, small detail, but I really like when you wear different outfits and armors and things. It actually reflects on your hair. Like, the ties that I'm using to tie my hair back are different because I'm wearing these towels. <laughs> you know, for a farmer, you don't seem to like cabbage much. Weren't you the one who made me make the poop shed, because you were getting angry about eating cabbage. No, but I don't think it was that. Do you want us to cook the cabbage? I don't know. I, I, I think you're the one who was complaining about care, cabbage. But that's okay. You can be our official livestock keeper.
metal, eh? I have not, because I saw it as we were leaving. Now, you gotta check your mail. From Saffron. Oh, look at this fancy paper she wrote on! Hey. Well, that was nice. Okay, well, now that we have a chicken, why am I running back? That is not an easy run. Well, now that we have a chicken, it's just gonna wander around aimlessly, and I don't really know what. I'm sure she'll be around. And by that I mean I can see her right there on the minimap. Yep, right there awaiting. Everybody working on an empty stomach. I just want to build. How about food? Like how the friggin' chicken comes up to. Like, I'm gonna be part of this conversation. I need to understand what's going on in the area. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. Let's go finish that water! I still think it's crazy that we even have a pot that can just endlessly supply wa water. Like, what would this do to the world as a whole? And supply and demand. If you could just... See, you see, this is what I was mentioning before. Where the water only went out so far. I'm gonna put some more here because I want to make sure it gets over that. Oh wow, it actually went over. I was thinking it maybe had to be over a source block? But I guess it doesn't. Okay, that's something to keep in mind. Like, it's fine being over... Okay, well, that's completely covered. Yeah, I guess it doesn't have to be a source block. I think, I guess it's fine moving over poured water. Yay! So, you see, though, like right here, where it kind of creeped around and went out this way? I think this pond could be a little deeper. I think you can only put water on top of solid ground, though. I still think it could be a little deeper. I mean, it only matters so much. Anyway. We'll do that in a second. Ooh, another letter waiting for me.
I gotta put so much more grass on that side. I wish there was a way to put even more grass down than relying on Wrigley. Let's hear it, Beardy. All right, well, I'll follow you in a minute. I want to finish doing this first. I'm going to raise the water level a notch. All right, I think that'll do it. Here we go, slightly deeper lake, but it's a way nicer lake. Look at that now, with the tiny little island there in the middle. Okay, now we just gotta go find Bonanzo and see what his he see what his has been up to. See what he's been doing with his free time while everybody else has been working. I don't know where he's going. Somewhere over here, maybe up there. I think I saw everybody else up top, so I'm gonna climb up. Yep, everybody else is up here. Yeah, this is like a whole second river. There we go, we did it. We climbed together. Sounds good to me. Next time. So until then, man, we've got rivers to river. I think that river could use a little more water. And I think this hill could use a little less ant. <laughs>